This is a documentary video about the history of Makbul Ahmad Black at King Edward Medical University, which span over a period of 10 years from the inception to completion. King Edward Medical University started out as Lahore Medical School in 1860. The present campus was built in 1911 by the King Edward VII Memorial Fund, while the class size grew from 25 to 250 students over 100 years, the building size stayed the same. To meet the needs of the large student body, the idea of building a new basic sciences block was envisioned. When Dr. Arif Aga, a KE graduate of 1984 and a urologist in Chicago, visited his alma mater in December of 2012, he shared his thoughts with Dr. Asad Aslam Khan, his close friend from his college days, who was also the acting vice chancellor of King Edward Medical University at the time. Dr. Khan immediately came on board. Dr. Aga had a couple of philanthropists as donors in his mind. One of them, Dr. Makbul Ahmad, a KE graduate of 1968 and an ophthalmologist in Illinois. After a few communications with Dr. Ahmad, Dr. Aga invited Dr. Khan to the U.S., and they both traveled to Murfreesboro, Illinois. They first presented the project of a seven-story new block, which had already been started, but its completion had halted for lack of funds. Dr. Ahmad, however, was not interested in taking up an unfinished project started by someone else. Instead, he counter-offered to build an entirely new building with his own name, Makbul Ahmad Black, that would replace the old pharmacology department. Dr. Ahmad realized the prestigious recognition that would come with this contribution. He, therefore, pledged to fund it for up to five and a half million dollars. The National Engineering Services of Pakistan, known as NESPAC, was engaged. An architect from NESPAC was invited to visit Washington University St. Louis as a model institution for a four-day extensive tour of the campus. The project of Makbul Ahmad Black was presented before the faculty of KEMU. Sadly, it met major administrative hurdles. At one point, it appeared that this project may not see the light of the day. Dr. Aga then approached his friend, Mr. Faisal Dermizi, the then Council General of Pakistan in Chicago, who arranged for Dr. Aga to meet with the Chief Minister of Punjab, Mr. Shabazz Sharif. During the meeting, Dr. Aga explained the bureaucratic challenges against this philanthropy. The Chief Minister immediately issued an order to organize a meeting of the stakeholders to ensure the project will not die due to red tape. The following day, Dr. Aga led a meeting of all concerned parties with the Secretary of Health and KEMUVC in attendance to define the terms of an MOU. On March 7, 2016, an MOU was signed between KEMU and the government of Punjab. By virtue of that MOU, all hurdles were overcome, and the project took off. Nespak's initial design was estimated to cost $11 million. It was modified and redesigned to meet the budgeted amount of $5.5 million. Dr. Aga spent the next five years working with the architects and contractors on the design and details of the building while keeping the KEMU administration and the government of Punjab updated. The demolition of the pharmacology department and construction of the new Makbul Ahmad Black started during the tenure of the vice chancellor, Dr. Khalid Masul Gundal, who worked collegially with the team put together by Dr. Arif Aga and Dr. Ahmad. Dr. Aga invited Chaudhry Muhammad Sarwar, the governor of Punjab and chancellor of KEMU, to lay the foundation stone on January 2, 2019. As part of an ongoing collaboration and support, Dr. Aga invited the governor of Punjab to his home in Chicago in April of 2019 and introduced Dr. Ahmad to him. After that meeting, the construction was smooth sailing. In the experienced hands of the chief architect, Mr. Zahid Javed Raja of TechZone Consultants, during one of his visits to inspect the project, Dr. Aga went to the rooftop and noted the awe-inspiring domes of Patiala Black. So that there is some congruence with the Patiala Black, Dr. Aga suggested that a dome structure should go on the rooftop. Dr. Ahmad agreed with his idea, and a dome was put in place. Dr. Aga wanted the best possible audiovisual and IT equipment. He spent several months doing research and finally got the system put together and designed from the U.S. with the help of Mr. Jamal Hamadani, the CEO of Mosley Associates in California and a passionate supporter of KEMU projects. The Mekbul Amhud block was built with a futuristic vision to meet the needs of generations to come. 
all basic health science departments, including pathology, pharmacology, and physiology, are under one roof. The beautifully designed, spacious layout, walkways outside the building, the tall lobby entrance, the high-quality finishes, along with the inside lighting system, create an architectural grandeur. The building was inaugurated on February 26, 2022, and is now fully functional. The Makbul block has four floors with an area of 127,000 square feet. It has two lecture theaters separated by a collapsible partition, each theater with a seating capacity of 452. The third floor is dedicated to the labs that can accommodate 600 students at a given time. The fourth floor is devoted for conducting the exams in a spacious examination hall. The modern design state-of-the-art building blends nicely with the 20th century architecture of the university and stands out as a great contribution to the medical education at KEMU. Were it not for the selfless commitment and passion of Dr. Arif Aga, money alone would not have been able to see this project come through. Special thanks are due to Dr. Asad Aslam Khan for his dedication as the project director. As long as the building serves the needs of the university and its students, Two names will always be remembered, Dr. Makbul Ahmad for funding the entire $6 million final cost of the project single-handedly with a smile and full support of his spouse, Samina Ahmad, and Dr. Arif Aga for his unwavering commitment from the inception of the idea to its completion over a span of 10 years inscribed with relentless pursuit for perfection as reflected in the intricate details of the project. The KEMU alumni are greatly indebted to both Dr. Ahmad and Dr. Aga for giving back to their alma mater in a distinctly appreciative way that will hopefully encourage others to follow.